Hey everyone, it's Jeff and Randy, the lab rat with peptidecritic.com. And today uh, we're gonna talk about some pen options um, and show you the accuracy of them. Uh, first, I wanna start with, there are a few different pens in the market. You have the V1, the V2, and now the V3. Uh, for the uh, reusables, you have a few options from pharmaceutical companies, which are really nice. Um, and then you have these disposables. I travel a lot for work, and these disposables are great because they're one and done. Um, once it's out, you toss it. You have to take it apart to um, inspect it. It's just, it's super low profile. Nobody questions these. Um, you have these uh, reusable ones, which you're probably familiar with if you're watching this or thinking about getting. One thing I will say is this is called a V2. This is what we're selling in our store. This is what we used to sell in our store. This is also a V2. You'll notice there are a few differences. First off, the um, delivery or amount left in the uh, syringe is in blue here. It's nice lines with uh, numbers there. Uh, this metal sleeve is a little smaller. Um, and this notch right here is on the back and here it's on the front. I can tell you, Quite literally, there's no difference in how these feel. And a little secret in the pen industry is that this is actually a V3. So anyone selling new V2s is actually selling a V3. The difference is the lid, the cap. The new cap that comes in the V3s is like a pen cap that comes over like this. That's it. So I just wanted to show you the difference because, um, you know, they also changed the color on us. Uh, you know, but all the black ones, gray ones, silver ones, gold ones, they're coming from one factory in China. Everyone's selling the same thing. And that factory in China decided to uh, change things up. I will say the new one is also thicker. The metal is thicker, it's more robust. Um, and uh, beyond that, it's functionally the same. So now I'm gonna show you uh, delivery. How much do these actually deliver and do they deliver what they say they will? So here we have an Easy Touch branded uh, syringe. Um, I have primed it prior to this, uh, just so there is the least amount of resistance possible, like there would be if you were injecting on our good friend Randy the Rat here. Um, so let's do 20 units out of this uh, V2 pen. And I should also say, this is not for human or veterinary use. This is for research on Randy the Rat. So, just, so I've got 20 units. On the pen, I'm going to just press. Everyone, and just like that, we get 20 units. So, get 20 units out of the pen. Um, if we do 50, it'll do 50. If we do 100, it'll do 100. So let me take this back water. I filled these with back water. There's no peptide in here. And let's do the disposal. Same thing. So I'm going to push side and let's do uh let's do 30 units okay so we have that set to 30 units that's spot on so a lot of people question whether pens are accurate and you know what their what their place is in the uh peptide space and i can tell you there are places for stuff you're injecting daily on your lab rat. There's an extra step involved, obviously, but for travel, they're great. Um, don't travel internationally with this stuff. Uh, but yeah, there's no reason if you're big into peptides not to have a pen. It's a life improvement, it's ease of use. And I'll be honest, Pinning uh, Randy, Randy the Lab Rat with a four millimeter uh, diabetes needle rather than one of these uh, eight mil easy touches. Randy has a lot less bruises on his stomach and it's just a better overall experience. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Feel free to reach out. Uh, and thanks for tuning in and happy researching from peptidecritic.com.